Never heard that from Adam before. Guys, so it just dropped. The moon of Coco. I got here as fast as I could. Is it out? Yes. Welcome it's back out. to Wave React, everybody. Yep. We're here to listen to Al City's brand new album, Coco Moon. Yep, we're going to listen to it. Here's song one. Let's go. I said, hey, I'm looking for Casey Connor. Here's my resume. I'm looking for a part time job, and I can start today. I owe ya. This video isn't sponsored by Hybee, just so you know. Eating cold pizza in the break room, feeling kind of small. A skinny kid with a crooked tie. My name tag said it all. Let's go. It said, Adam Frozen, one years of service. Be there in a jiffy. Adam Jack. I'm on my way. Only Adam can make a song about his first job and make it a bop. <laughs> I wish we had high beasts here because I yeah, would totally I've only been to like three or four. Cruise through one yeah. with this plan. Adam needs some help in Frozen. Hmm. These are just classic <sighs> Adam Synth lines. Also reminds me of Ronald Jinkies. I think I said that in the last video. Man, I'm so excited. <laughs> Can't wait to hear this and a whole yeah. album of this production. Oh, <laughs> friendly smile in every aisle. <laughs> yep. much as I want to get to the next song. I do want to talk about the lyrics. Some people are criticized whenever somebody successful is like, you know what, you can make it too. And it's like a sh survivorship bias a bit. And me, I'm like, well, you have to have hope because if you don't have hope that you'll make it, you won't make it. Yeah. So it's a, it's like a double-edged sword. Like, yeah, not everybody's going to make it, but you're definitely not going to make it if you don't try. So that's my two cents. I honest, I, I don't know, I, and I may add further bias, but hearing that from somebody like Adam Young, somebody who is usually like super reserved, that mm -hmm. motivates me even more. Totally, just because like I look up to him so much as a as a producer, and you know the way he made it, like he he and was one of the first like big internet stars. I mean, MySpace stars and stuff, you know. So he did, you know, climb that ladder of success. So. I don't and know. He had like the biggest independent song, you know, Fireflies. Was yeah, huge solo. And I mean, just like it, you know, his song. Uh, he he he's very much an enigma when it comes to like a a pop star. Oh, uh, totally. You know what I mean? Like yeah. in terms of songwriting, production, all that stuff. I mean, he's so unique when it comes to to all that. But anyways, I'll right, save my go fanboy. On. We gotta get back in. All right, so this is song two. It's called Under the Circus Lights. Oh. Once upon a summer, a traveling circus came to town from the land down under. 
That is sick. Nice circus. Mm-hmm. But careful as with a heavy heart She seemed to fall forever And I wondered whether I like synth I don't know if it's a bass synth There's the dun dun mm -hmm. dun It's familiar to Owl City's world I feel Just the way this song is moving is just crazy Yeah Ooh cool some female vocals back there mm -hmm. oh, that's Abby I know a lot of people commented on her prior videos speculating that that was his wife yeah Abby I'd totally go to a circus if all city through one. Dude. He's a Cirque de Soleil show. like a movie and a song man it's a, what I was gonna say at the end of this so in one of the previous songs I had said something about like this sounds very much made for like a play and I'm still I'm still maintaining that like that that Seriously. could work in a play setting just because his lyrics are so literal and that you know he brought in the audience and the whole circus like it was actually yeah like you said watching a movie being it, in that scene yeah i could it see moves this. like different acts yeah i mean like seriously like there was That's so it. much depth to that last song right there i felt like i was under a circus tent i felt like i was outside of the circus tent mm -hmm. with the insects and the the crow overhead i felt i mean that piano break sounded like something mm -hmm. straight out of port blue like beautiful adam young oh my gosh that cool. was just i'm speechless yeah <laughs> and the part of the beginning the first section of that reminded me of sky sailing just in the topics and the way he was singing you know about a woman same yeah it just made me think of that and just his production level is just yeah. i mean i didn't know you could get higher than where <laughs> adam young right. was but like it's cool to see. I'm just gonna write five minute songs with a bunch of change ups right. and still be all city. Yeah, he did not take a break. Like he's been working on this stuff. Yeah, it's not like he dusted sure. off the computer. Like, up, oh, been five years, time <laughs> to write some. He's been, yeah. he's been at it. Yeah. So uh, here's Kelly time. We all know this one. Yep. Are beautiful things like a birthday card for Johnny and a pair of angel wings. 
you No, it wasn't just the plane crash that shook you to the core But the very thought of losing her that made it all worth dying for Washed up on that island, all alone without a friend. The hours you would make sure I felt heard. Thanks, you Wilson. Knew what I was saying, though I never said a word. Ooh, I'm ready for anything. Ooh, who knows what the tide could bring? And just like that, it happened. No. And I'm sorry, I'm so sorry that you lost no. a friend that day. <laughs> Bye, Wilson. I'm ready for anything. anything. It's because my doctor's name is Spalding. Sorry. <laughs> this just feels like a classic Al City song to me. I think because I've heard it so many times since it came out. I love it. I still love this track, man. So good. Well, you and me went on a journey full of tragedy and pain. Hey, Kelly, are you there? Pick up. I know I said I'd be Rapping. back. And like that, nobody knew where I was at. All my logic said I would never see you again. He's in his Eminem bag right now. Sorry. I love you more than you ever know. Never should have gotten out of the car, but the time yep. I could bring. I'm sorry for everything, but nobody knows what the tide could bring. You know, nobody knows what the tide could bring. Videotapes and ice skates are beautiful. Things. His vocals have improved so much like since oh man, the beginning. Even though I love the effects and stuff he put on the beginning, like he, nice to hear. It's clear, Adam. That the most beautiful thing in the world is, of course, the gift of life. One thing that I really love, and I'm noticing more now, listening to the album, is what you just said about his voice. It's it's also really nice. Like his lyrics are still so whimsical and still so owl city, but the maturity, I mean like the messages totally. and themes and stuff, you know, talking about just being grateful to be alive and um, you know, some of the lyrics that came across and like Adam check please. It's just nice to hear that, you know, I mean totally. these songs feel really mature. It still feels like owl city, but it's it's really refreshing. Yeah. But yeah, it's still got that playful, imaginative aspect like totally yeah. yeah all right so this song is song four and it's called field notes okay we were heading on home diesel and me down an old gravel road way out in the country tuckered out after work in the fields all day when all of a sudden off like a shot that dog the took off the string stabs yeah classic all city to say i can hear a lot of his scores mm -hmm. influence in this totally split i crashed through the fields chasing after that hound and i was hot on his heels when shown something was buried there the mix is just so ridiculous i was wondering who mixes this hi-hat over here real subtle place to find some kind of trunk or a chest or a crate but buried under the whole combination there corner exposed the vocals no there wasn't a map or a note or a key it was okay hmm total scores yeah vibes. very cinematic here it had laid there for years deep in the dirt so i dug it out and wiped my hands on my shirt big golden bricks with a shimmery sheen they were a staggering he just stays switching up these songs now and it's right crazy there i knew what i had to do so with a smile i sold what little i had the way he I builds that beat my is mm -hmm. my mom and my dad. crazy and i bought that field because it was my dream come true 
Said goodbye to my shack. It wasn't much of a home, so I never looked back. Our treasure will be revealed, and you never know what could be buried in the middle of a field. Oh boy. Where's he taking us now? Yeah. Huh? I'm excited. Didn't see that synth coming in. Classic Owly right there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Go ahead, Adam. Flex. <laughs> wow. Just... That that ending, like the song was good and stuff, but that ending won me over there. Me too. I gotta hear that again. Yeah, I thought the beginning was just, uh, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, all these songs are going to need a few listens for right, me, I think, right. because they are just so intense, yep. like There's so much movement. Um, yep. But yeah, that ending was really cool. All right, on to the next song. This one is called Sons of Thunder. Okay. Ooh. We are the new sons of thunder. We are uncrushable and reverse. diamonds mm -hmm. of light. We are the daughters of wonder. And when we leave the earth with a shower of spark, we belong wow. above the <laughs> the dreamers of unusual dreams we all face the forces of nature but bravely mm. we'll take great leaps of faith and then just like that okay we'll okay drums I love this rock sound when yep. he did this on vitamin C I That's really what I like it yep. yeah I love it Awesome use of her vocals there. <laughs> I love those high vocals yeah. right there. Killer. Man, he's slaying on these drums. This really reminds me of like almost like some post hardcore That's mid what 2000s. I was thinking, like but in Adam, Adam's rock. world. <laughs> yeah. And I know he used to love that yeah. kind of stuff. Awesome.
He's been hard on that synth this I album know. too. I love it. Nice guitar there. Yeah, it's like a little solo. Yeah. Oh man. I like how that like synth goes with his melody. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. Those drums are clean. That was one of my favorite songs, I think, so uh, far. That was yeah. Of the new ones that we hadn't heard yet. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. This song is called The Tornado. It was just starting to drizzle as I walked out the door But I've delivered papers in the rain like that before 3.30 in the morning, I was happy as a lark As I grabbed my bike and rode into the dark I pedaled through the neighborhood, the weather on my mind The wind was picking up and howling louder all the time the sky turned like a cauldron and the distant thunder roared and the little bit of courage i had left was almost gone but i tried to tell myself it's always darkest before the dawn and then the nightmare started it got deafeningly loud every fiber in me screamed out but i couldn't My play again. We're in another play, <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, he's working on a play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you guys haven't listened to any of Adam Young's scores, check them out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Never heard that from Adam before. Sun's coming back out, right? <clears throat> you okay, Adam? That was when I saw hanging on. I kept hanging on. Hmm. The shadow slowly melted as I was hunkered down. Till at last the worst was over, the storm was dying out. I crept out of that covert and I went weak in the knees. Cause what I saw was a somber sight to see. There was nothing but destruction and wreckage in that town. Cars were upside down and houses leveled to the ground. Ooh. Takes me back to Ocean Eyes. Oh. Little that little run right yeah. there, dude. His lyrics, it, the it, like the way he's setting these songs up, it reminds me of like a '90s sitcom. You get like the descriptive or whimsical or whatever, very lyric, literal, and then you get the message like three fourths of the way through the song yeah. <laughs> it's like an episode of full house or something like that <laughs> yeah, anything yeah. from the 90s you get comedic 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 or whatever a less message three fourths of the way through i see what you're saying yeah. i gotta hear that screaming part again that yeah i know <laughs> i'm talking about his score as well he's doing like the most on owl city <laughs> thing that was really interesting all right vitamin c is up next we all know this one yep hmm I think highly of a Hawaii. Got a cheap flight and a plan. So heads up, Nancy. Don't get antsy while I'm working on my tan. Cause it's crystal clear to me. A weekend in Waikiki is what I need. Yeah, I could use a sip of island serenity. Cause when 
Wear sunscreen, people. Yeah. Yeah. PSA. <laughs> BRB <laughs> Hmm Still my favorite part of the song Such a bop. Heck yeah, Adam. I know in these videos we talk a lot about genre bending. And this album is so interesting because it, within the same song, it'll take you through 10 different genres. That's what I'm saying it feels like a movie. Yeah. Straight up movie. It All kinds of emotions. Liter it literally feels like vignettes. That's what I keep okay. thinking. Because he'll even nice snap word. into like, oh my gosh, this part of the song is mixed super clean and uses these mm -hmm. types of sounds into like something that sounds vintage and at the circus. Yeah. I mean, the mood shifting, the, it just, it's crazy. Really unique. Next song is called Dinosaur Park. <laughs> I'm ready. Ooh. Ooh. He's heading to Jurassic Park here. It's gonna end with a dinosaur eating everybody. <laughs> Got a cricket in my ear. <laughs> yep. Welcome to South Dakota here Hello. in early July. Tucked away in the Black Hills on an especially starry night. In Dinosaur Park, long after dark, I wonder what happens there. there. Interesting. Because he can. I know. <laughs> it's almost like he's notes that were out of key there. It sounded like it. Dinosaur 
far. Ooh. Ooh. Awesome section here. Do dinosaurs talk about when they're alone? <laughs> before I don't know. The sun comes up Never wondered that before. Turn back to stone. <laughs> Do they look down on the city lights, even though they don't bat an eye? And then at night, when the Dark. I wonder what happens there when no one's around. Does some kind of magic fill the air? That reminded me of sailboats. I, won't ever I can see that. To me, this one feels the most I like classic Adam yeah. of the new songs but that we haven't heard. Cool sections in there. Again, clean production. Oh, man. Mixing. I remember him teasing, I want to say it was a few few years ago, maybe two years ago or something like that, him out like doing field recordings. So like these mm, samples and right. the sounds and stuff like that. I mean, that's all That's all him, which doesn't surprise me at no, all, no. but super cool. Really cool. The panning, and I mean, it just really puts you, puts you there. This song is called Learn How to Surf. She had that old movie quote, we're gonna need a bigger boat. Two tiny waves on her toes and turtle tracks on her collarbones. I asked her what they meant. And this is what she said. You gotta go with the flow, cause the tide's always turn and sink or swim. Diving in is the best way to learn. Kick up the sand. Heck yeah, man. Play it. And by the way, with lots of quirky tattoos. She had a shark on her arm, a pirate shredding nar, an octopus wearing shades, and seagull wings. <laughs> a pirate shredding the nar, bro. <laughs> Shred the nar. <laughs> This is like single material. I'm certain. On wave, that's the best. Nice. Ridiculous. Like a saxophone. This sounds so fun. It is. I like the message there. You know, try, try, try again. You, the only way you're gonna get better is to practice. And get just like and the ocean and waves, they ebb and flow. Yes, it's true. Just like life does, you can't stop the waves and the ebbs and the flows. But you can learn how to surf them. You can ride them. You can ride them. Be wavy. Wavy, bragged everybody. Like wavy, Davy.
All right, so that was three plugs in one song. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, that song definitely felt like s single material. Um, yeah, that's how I felt. There was like a bunch of change-ups and stuff like that, I would say. And that, that was like the most straightforward song. Definitely. Yeah. There was like a vintage sound in there that I enjoyed. Yeah, me too. And I really liked that. I don't know if it was keyboard or saxophone. It sounded like the synth he's been soloing on most of the album. But then when you said saxophone, I was like, oh, that does it's, sound like sax. I think, he, yeah, he just digitally changed it yeah. to the sax. And talking about the tattoos and shredding the gnar and all that, that was great. <laughs> Classic. Um, this is the second to last song. This one is called The Meadow Lark. Lark? On a winding forest road I met cool sound a and synth. Yeah, like, far from home. Sounds like a pad or something. I saw he was my enemy Annie's nice. And he uncertain what to do. Nice clean synth bass. Mm. But we both kept rank and stood our ground. <laughs> and then the curious thing That's that classic Owl City yeah. signature. Yeah. On wings arrived a tiny bird. Mm. And troubled not by war or peace. She sang for us a melody. Oh, 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 oh. I dared not move or look away, lest my life my foe would take. Yet in his eyes I saw his fright. Just a boy like me, afraid to die. The meadow lark sang on and on. Then more arrived and joined the song. And as I held my rival stare, a tremendous chorus filled the air. Those dreamy scents that were mainly in the beginning, but were subdued, I feel, through the rest of it, were really nice. They remind me of other All City songs, How It Became the Sea. Ooh, um, that's a gem. Yeah. Even even like some unfinished stuff, um, some jams, like old YouTube jams. I, I don't know. Just like, the, yeah, those were really, really, really pleasing nice. to the ear. I kept thinking like a voyage. Like this sounded like... Uh, the voyage to the west like the way the strings and stuff are yep like it was a weird mix there of like the great expedition yeah or yeah, something yeah. like that yeah yep. totally totally get that yeah like on to the a new frontier or yeah, something yeah, like yep. that yep i totally got that vibe too so this is the last song the song is called my muse i remember when i saw you at the movie be about and Abby. To me, you mm -hmm. were a stranger in the room. But to my surprise, I met your eyes, and that was when I knew there's nowhere else I'd rather be than here with you. Yeah, without a doubt, I took you out for coffee. We sat for hours at a table made for two. 
I love the lightness in your laughter and the sparkle in your eyes. It doesn't matter if it rains or shines, cause I'll be by your side. Beautiful layering there. Fire, I admire, and you'll always be my muse. There's nowhere else I'd rather be than here with you. It was all a blur, then there we were at the altar. You were mine, and all my dreams were coming true. But how the time does fly, and years go by, it's crazy. We both got sick and hurt, and sad a time or two. But how I love you more and more, and after all that we've been through. There's nowhere else I'd rather be than here with you. I love the flowers in your footprints and the sparkle in your eyes. It doesn't matter if it rains or shines, cause I'll be by your side. For the record, you're my treasure and you'll always be my muse. So I'll say it now before we're at the door that someday we'll walk through. And if I'm the only one left in the room There's nowhere else I'll rather be than home with you I love the springtime in your spirit and the sparkle in your eyes It doesn't matter if it rains or shines cause I'll be by your side I can say like it, the echo on the vocals there There's nowhere else I'd rather be than here with you. Beautiful ballad. I'm so happy for Adam. He found his person. Me He's too. He's happy. You he went through the industry, came out on the other side, doing independent work now. So happy, man. Honestly, it's so awesome to hear a new album from from adam young from Owl city i just so happy for him yeah yeah well said only adam could do this like nobody else is making music like this i know nobody and and so with that too like i respect the message that he put out right before this album oh, yeah. came out where he's like it's not for algorithms it's not for it's you know he made he it made for, for him. him and it's That's like it to, should be. to have a break of you know four and a half five years from cinematic to to here and just yeah you don't there's no other artist especially in pop out there doing what we just heard oh, no. on this album the amount of switch ups in those songs the amount of instruments and moods painted with sound was just absolutely crazy and so refreshing to hear as a longtime fan of Anyone who's found this channel through our All City videos, thank you for for supporting us. Thank you for being here. If you're watching, Adam, we love you. Yeah. Hoot Owls, thanks for watching. We will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Later. I think highly of Hawaii. I got a cheap flight and a plan.